Let us together shine this night, O oh moon. Another night now beckons, and I shall cast such shadows as to bring you strength and comfort each in turn. Choose well the magic that shall be of greatest benefit. The choice is yours. Heard you were heading out again. Figured I'd drop in and send you off. Safe travels and all that. Heracles. We get to know each other, you'll live to regret it. Happens all the time. There. Call it even. We're done here. that the two of you have finally met. It ought to have been the lot of us gathered here to welcome you with open arms, not just a bit of curt formality from that one. Not the warmest welcoming committee, is she? You never seem to lack the smarts, as I recall. Was the right level-headed sort, but now he's serving Kronos, making mayhem for us here. They say he sees the future, so we must know he won't get away with this. That night, the last time you made a real difference here, you know. I shouldn't be surprised, and yet a single goddess doing so much work. You're quite the inspiration, love, and terrifying too. I made it all the way up to the Mountain of the Gods, my lord. Though I missed you up there. I never thought I'd see a place you couldn't reach by boat. You have a very good distributor. Polyphemus. Last I'll say about Poseidon, I swear. He's my uncle, you know. For what it's worth, I'm sorry if he truly led you to believe you were his son. Yeah, well, I like the play of the family resemblance, just in case. But I'm glad he's not my father neither. Otherwise, I'd be about to eat my own cousin, and that'd be real weird. I'm too upset this time. You missed me, didn't you? Well, they're good and hot, do you? Then this ought to warm you up in the meantime. Sorry, Auntie Hestia. for too long about this sort of thing. So let's just carry on. You're in my way. You look lost, Trouble. Let me help you find your way back home. See you, Strife. For me. I ever tell you about the time I traveled east? Still feasting. There's quite an island over there. Good people, too. You ever been to other parts of what? to be
be just some ungrateful guest. I know you have your customs here, and I have studied them. So please, for all your cheer and generosity. Well, this is nectar. It's the real thing. We could use every drop that we can get. Then here is something for my most distinguished guests, of which I have decided you are one. I'm most grateful, and wish I could stay for the festivities. Hey, look who decided to reconsider coming to our little gathering. Welcome back, Mel Baby. Now go on, you grab yourself a cup and mingle with the crowd. As tempting as that sounds, Lord Dionysus, unfortunately I don't think I can. There are various perils beyond, and your fellow Olympians can only do so much to hold them off. I feel bad for them, really. Almighty gods with limitless power having to fend for themselves. Good thing I can drown my sorrows here, and guess what? So can you! Those satyrs aren't trying to slaughter me. Iris. Where were we? You Drakens ought to choose wiser alliances. I knew you would, of course, yet I don't know why. Because you won't tell me. That's right. Your nonsense riddles are a bigger threat to my health than you, or your blasted eagle pet for that matter. The threat you face is beyond your understanding. That is the only reason you persevere. Your ignorance is a gift, much like the fire that I shared with mortal kind, and now with you.
limit. through somehow. A narrow victory, but still. Not even the intense heat rising from the mountain's central hearth can entirely dispel the chill here in the air. A gathering storm, not wrought by gods, but something else. Something friendly? is no longer in her way. The titan toppling princess is one step closer to the summit of the mountain of the gods, a step shrouded in darkest mystery, until a future time enlightens all of us. Return to shadow now. Well, that was productive. You knew I could do it, didn't you, Freenos? Oh, you're back. You know you can tell me anything, Mel. I won't judge. Well, maybe a little more than the other small green squishy thing you bear your soul to every night, but still. I never made that particular connection between you and Freenos before. I speak to him about my setbacks and mistakes. But I'm happy to save some for you, if you like. Yep, just lay them on me. And the bigger the screw-up, the more I want to know every juicy detail. I appreciate your service. What's all the commotion? Got me fair and square again, Trouble. More than a couple times. Starting to think maybe I'm losing it, you know? Oh, you poor thing. Please, let me cheer you up so you'll proceed to fight against me even harder than before. You mock me when I'm vulnerable. Fine. But don't expect to cry on this shoulder when things take a turn for the worse when it comes to your stuff. Out of my face. the surface. Odysseus and I... Long has one of us been certain you would find your way to Mount Olympus and direct your efforts there. The other was certain you'd do no such thing. Before you even ask, there's absolutely no way you're making me guess which one of you was which in that particular disagreement, Headmistress. I always said, how you achieve the task is up to you. It's not for me to guide your every step. Then was it worth it, climbing to those heights? Entirely. And I intend to go again. May your intent be true. Well, well. 
The wooden horse was an exquisite trick. Your own inevitable doom misdirected toward your unsuspecting foes. A masterstroke. But my personal favorite had to be the Polyphemus incident. You speak of it like an old action yarn. Big bastard massacred my crew. My heart threatened to burst from my chest getting past him, and now he's up to his old antics with the goddess there. Oh, but I have no doubt that with your guidance, the princess shall outsmart the Cyclops again and again, as recompense for the trouble that he caused you. Hear that, goddess? Some olives. At last. Kasynth, the black coat. Envelop me in darkness that our foes cannot Behold. escape. I like the sound of that. So this is the black coat, an armament such as the world has never before seen. Probably because that thing can punch or blow up anybody fool enough to cross your path. It fits like it was made for me. <laughs> So desire. Aid me in finding that which I require. See that, sisters? <laughs> <laughs>